will be a very tough transition. There will be winners and losers in that transition. And you believe it would take many, many decades to get to that point, if indeed we did get there? Yes, it will take many decades. Uh, and it will be a transformational cha challenge uh, for society. It will, it will mean a very different society uh, uh, going forward. But if science is, is right, and we, from the World Business Council, we don't dispute the science. We say the science, as presented by the IPCC, we, we accept. And if we accept that, and we have to do this kind of, of, um, uh, of reductions, then it will mean very big investments. You know, uh, the International Energy Agency is talking about investments annually in the energy system of around a trillion dollars. So uh, if you compare that with the money that is now being discussed in the financial crisis, we talk about a trillion dollars per year, every year from 2005 to 2050. Now that, that's $45 trillion into the energy system up to 2050. Actually, in January, we had a meeting uh, with the International Energy Agency. They presented their energy technology perspectives to 2050. Or rather, they had a draft of that report that was then launched later on uh, during the spring. And we brought together uh, 40 chief technology officers from some of the biggest energy-related companies globally and that represent very substantial R&D uh, activities. And uh, we asked them, do you think that this report, these actions to get to minus 50% uh, by 2050 uh, are reasonable. Can that be done? And their conclusion was, from a technology perspective, it can be done. But the big question will be, will there be a policy framework from governments that will be supportive and that will deploy this technology? That is really uh, where the bottleneck is. And possibly that education has to come from people like SKM to educate the politicians. We are, after all, collectively a group of scientists, engineers and project managers. What do you see as our role in the scheme of things? Well, I, I think business has a, uh, not only SKM, but, but business in general has a responsibility to tell uh, governments what is doable, looking at what kind of actions do we think uh, can be implemented and under what circumstances. And certainly companies like, like SKM that uh, is very engaged in the infrastructure of, of society has an important role to play. Uh, and uh, uh, we are, in a way, as the World Business Council, providing the broader platform for leading global companies uh, uh, to punch above their weight as individual companies by, by providing a coalition of progressive companies to try to get that message across. Bjorn, I want to ask you a question about long-term business thinking and why it must necessarily contain sustainability. Now, what competencies do organizations need to survive beyond this point? Well, I, I think uh, when we look at the future world, we look at the world which is going to be a constrained world. It will be constrained by uh, the ability to emit carbon and some other pollutants. It will be constrained by the access to resources. We are looking at the world which is likely by 2050 going to have 9 billion people compared to six something to, uh, at this point in time. Uh, so we will have a, a world which will be constrained. And the ability to understand those constraints and what it's going to mean for, for strategy, uh, for your uh, business model, uh, for your operations will be crucial uh, for business. And, and some companies invest uh, in uh, fixed assets for very long times into the future. I mean, if you build a power plant today, it's going to be around at 2050. If you build a paper mill, it's going to be around. So the ability to think about what is the operating environment going to look like uh, in, a, in decades to come will be very important. And it will be a very different operating uh, uh, environment. So you have a strong belief that the world 
through technology can overcome these challenges. Business can overcome these challenges. We can deliver the technology. We can deliver the solutions. The big challenge is to make sure that we have uh, uh, a supportive framework from governments whereby we can put the, these solutions uh, into reality, in, into actions. And that's, uh, I think, what business has to tell governments, that this is uh, a situation where there is a need for uh, leadership and, and uh, to think long term in, in politics. Uh, and uh, we can deliver if we get the right framework. Bjorn Stigson, thank you so much for talking to us at SKM. We appreciate your valuable insight. My pleasure.